Okay, I'm actually gonna like sit down for this one because this one's gonna be a little bit longer than the ones I've just filmed. The one for me. That's why I give you hey, welcome back to Book It. I am Sab Lewis, and today we are talking about one of the very the first book that got me into smut reading, Rush by Maya Beggs. Oh my god. This is the first book of the Breathless trilogy that she has. Um, she has this one and then Fever and Burn. And when I tell you, this, this book is amazing. If you have never read this book, I am about to gloat on it. I'm about to confess my ever dying love to it. So this, this video will contain spoilers. Please be prepared. Um, also, I do want to give four more tri four more trigger warning. There are many sexual scenes that happen in this and there is almost a sexual assault that is led up to, like you hear everything led up to it. So if any of that bothers you, please go ahead and click away and find a happier video. I do have some on my channel. I know I have a lot that are about sex and sexual themes, but I do have some happy ones that don't have any of that in there. So go ahead and click away. For those that are staying, welcome. Oh my God. Literally this series, I started reading this series probably two and a half years ago, two years ago, before I moved in this apartment, I, I had already read this book. I picked up this book, um, in all honesty, I had picked up this book at a bar, no, a half price books, cause it was on sale for like two bucks. And I was like, you know what? It looks kind of cool. Like, you know, there's like the water. I was unaware that this was a smut book, unaware. Um, and then as I started reading it, I was like, oh my God. And this completely changed my world after that. After reading this is when I actually read like the Fifty Shades of Grey and stuff like that. And then moved on to the stuff I read now. But this book started it all. Now I will say this, this one is my absolute favorite of the series. And in my personal opinion, this is the best book of the series by Maya Banks. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. This is about Gabe and Mia. So the back even says, Gabe, Jace, and Ash are the three of the wealthiest, most powerful men in the country. They're accustomed to getting anything they want, anything at all. For Gabe, it's one particular fantasy coming true for a woman who was forbidden fruit. So <clears throat> the book starts off, we meet the three boys. They all started a company together and they're all best friends and now they're all billionaires. Um, they make like, crap tons of money they own hotel businesses just everything to think of so we meet gabe gabe is 36 38 he's in his 30s and then we meet jace and ash who are also about the same age so jace has a sister named mia i think at this point you're putting two to two together jace and mia are siblings mia and gabe is what the book is about so obviously she was forbidden fruit because that was her brother's best friend. Jace did help raise his 14, they had a 14 year old age, like age gap. He did help raise his sister because their parents passed away. And then Ash is just kind of there for this book. There's a whole book dedicated to him, but Ash is just kind of there this book. Um, we do learn some fun things about Jace and Ash, but I'll wait until later on. Um, so basically Mia, uh, needs a job and Gabe will gives her the job of a personal secretary for him with a twist. So he makes her sign a contract if she's willing to completely consensual that basically whenever he wants, he will have sex with her. They will fuck and she will get paid basically just to be there. Um, which is like what she wanted because she also wants to sleep with him but he wants to make sure that there's a contract involved and stuff like that he basically pays her great money to just sit around all day waiting for him to want to have sex with her so they keep their relationship hidden from jace because he's like that's my sister you don't touch her blah 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 and because they have a 14 year old age gap and people get really ticked off about that um but the two become happy they end up you know traveling together because Anytime he turns around, she's there because he's she's his assistant, so he she's supposed to be there. Um, finds out that like you know they're like working together. Jace finds out that Gabe gave her a job, and he's like, okay, cool, just don't hurt my sister, blah blah. blah. So later on in the book, when Jace finds out, he's like threatening Gabe, like you hurt my sister, I'll kill you, I'll beat you up, blah blah blah. And then 
this is when like the actual trigger warning comes in. So they're on vacation together and Gabe is entertaining some clients because they're trying to book this big deal. And he decides to use Mia to entertain his guests without really telling her. So he invites these guys up into their uh, penthouse and he's like, don't touch her, but you can look at her, blah, 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 whatever. One of the guys tries to force himself upon her and Gabe is like, uh, no, bestie. And the guy ends up like smacking or like hitting Mia in the face. Gabe ends up like, you know, beating the crap out of him, whatever. Later on, we realize that this guy also took pictures and videos of Mia. And so that comes into play later on in, in like the further series. But all we know right now is that he has photos and videos of her. Um, so Mia decides to stay with Gabe and try to forget and forgive him. He ends up like buying her a nice dinner and apologizing profusely and they end up being like okay and fine, um, which no, but that's toxic. So one day, um, Gabe has her like bent over his desk and they're doing very sexual things and Jace and Ash walk into the room and immediately the boys grab Mia and they're like no you're leaving so Ash is like getting Mia and getting her out the door and Jace is like fighting Gabe absolutely wild um and then Jace and Ash take her on like a vacation and like get her away from everything for a little bit because it's about Christmas time stuff like that and at this point everyone thinks the company's got to go down or they're going to cut Gabe from the company just because he's like not really talking to his best friends anymore um, and he decide he's talking to somebody and he decides like, you know what? I need Mia in my life. I cannot live without her. Um, even though he was like, she really wanted to get married and have kids. And he was so anti all of that stuff. He was a very anti relationship guy. And she was a like devoted, like I love romance and love, love and stuff like that. Um, so he actually races and ends up proposing to her. Um, and like tells like Jace and Ash and her that like, cause they're all together. He tells her like, I want you in my life. I can't live without you. Please don't ever leave me. I will never hurt you. Blah, blah, You know, happy fairy tale ending. Um, and basically that's where the book ends off. And then we end up reading the next two. The next two are about the other boys. One's about Ash and one's about Jace. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, like the whole spiel of this one and I have a favorite quote and I'm going to give context after but my favorite quote from the book is I want babies too he said daughters as beautiful as you are and I love that quote just because the entire book he talks about how much he can't stand children how he never wants to have them how he hates them and she tells him like I really want to have a baby and he's like nope nope gross disgusting get on birth control blah blah and at the very end, when he's about to propose to her, he's like tell, confessing his love. And he's like, I want babies. I want daughters and I want sons. And I want, and it's so like, that's just my heart. But yeah, that's it for the first uh, book of the Breathless Trilogy. Rush, you will forever have my heart. Mwah. And yeah. So I really want to know, since this was the first smut book that I ever read, what was your first smut book? Leave a comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I will be posting more videos soon. I'll be posting the chapter book soon that I'm like currently editing and stuff like that. But yes, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye! <laughs>